What's up everybody, James Michelle here, and I'm back at you with another video. Uh, today is more of a vlog, you could say. I just wanted to touch base with my subscribers. Um, you know, I've been, haven't made a video in a couple weeks. Uh, you know, I've been enjoying my holiday and uh, just got back from vacation, a week and a half long vacation. Uh, but I'm back now, I'm ready to make some more content. Um, and I wanted to do this video to remind everyone that uh, Friday, January 8th at uh, 8 p.m. Eastern, that I will be joined by three of my good friends, uh, JD the Dragon, Don the Kraken Wit, Christina the Sphinx, and we're going to be doing a uh, live What's the Difference? Uh, it's my first ever live video on my channel, so I uh, hope you guys can join us. It's going to be, uh, you know, John 7, 8, and 10 from A Storm of Swords. It's the Battle of the Wall and the parlay at Mance Raider's Tent uh, with Jon Snow. And um, it's going to be comparing it, obviously, to Episode 9 of Season 4, uh, Watchers on the Wall, the Battle of the Wall, and the first 10 minutes of Season 4, Episode 10, uh, the Battle, or the parlay at Mance's Tent, and Stanish com coming in and smashing the Wildlings. So, uh, you know, like I said, I hope you guys can join us for that live. Uh, if not, you know, hopefully you can watch it another time. That being said, uh, you know, my Blu-ray video did very well, uh, better than I expected. So, you know, maybe some of you guys like the movie content as well. And I would like to continue doing content about movies. I'm a big movie buff. Uh, I love movies. Along with Game of Thrones. So I plan on doing both. That being said, uh, on vacation, I went to the, some local video stores and got some good deals on some Blu-rays. I got 10 new Blu-rays, so I thought I'd share them with you. I, I'm not going to do a review on them or anything, but uh, I'll say a little something about it. But uh, So here we go. Uh, first off, the mid-90s classic 7. Uh, great ending. Uh, creepy as hell. David Fincher movie. Love it. Uh, in my opinion, one of the most underrated Quentin Tarantino movies. Jackie Brown, some people don't like this movie, they don't view it as a strong Tarantino film. Uh, but, I love it. Great cast, Pam Greer, you know, Samuel L. Jackson, Michael Keaton, Robert Forster, Bridget Fonda, back when she was hot, and Robert De Niro, of course. Uh, just a fun movie. Uh, the first, the very first Quentin Tarantino, Tarantino movie I've ever seen was Reservoir Dogs. <clears throat> This is just, uh, you know, a great crime thriller, uh, great drama, you know, you got your classic Tarantino dialogue, you got violence, your Tarantino violence. Um, Harvey Keitel, Michael Madsen stood out in this movie for me, of course, Tim Roth. Uh, just a great film. Check it out if you have not. Uh, the mid-2000s, Michael Mann, uh, you know, in my opinion, it's a classic, it's a great movie, Collateral. You see Tom Cruise as a villain. Uh, Jimmy Lee Fox is okay, but this is Tom Cruise's movie. It's the first time you really see him portray a villain, and uh, he knocks it out of the park, in my opinion. Great movie. <clears throat> uh, I picked up Oblivion. I haven't watched it yet. I haven't watched it in general, so I can't really say anything. All I know is uh, Nicola Castor Waldo's in it, and uh, I heard mixed reviews on it, but I got it for sale, so I'll check it out. The 1970s classic. Monty Python and the Holy Grail. Grail. What can be said about this? You know, you got the whole group. You know, crew. You got Terry Gilliam, and you know, it's just a, it's just a great classic comedy. It's, it, you know, a little. You know, some people don't like it, but a lot of people love it, and I love it. So there you go. Batman: The Dark Knight Returns. Uh, I haven't watched this. I I know the premise of the comic book. I know he's older. Uh, you know, older Bruce Wayne coming back in the action. Uh, I've heard good things about this, so I, I look forward to watching it. Kick-Ass. Another movie I haven't seen, but I've heard great things about it. I heard Kick-Ass 2 wasn't very good, but hey, I got this for three bucks. I'll watch it and see what happens. The Place Beyond the Pines. Another movie I haven't seen, but I've heard extremely good things about this movie. Uh, I'll let you guys know for sure you know, what I thought about this movie. I heard it was really good. Uh, a Denny Villanueva movie, Prisoners. I just watched Sicario. I haven't watched Prisoners. I, I have watched Enemy, but I'm looking forward to this movie because I think he's a great director. I'm looking forward to seeing what he does with Blade Runner 2. Um, but Sicario was a great movie, full of tension. Uh, and I, I heard this movie is the same, essentially. So I look forward to watching this. 
I picked up Paprika. I heard this is the movie, the anime that uh, sort of inspired Inception. I heard they're completely different, but uh, I heard it inspired it. Uh, heard it's batshit insane. Uh, I look forward to watching it. I haven't seen it yet. And same with Zero Dark Thirty. Got it for sale. Heard great things. I haven't seen it, but I look forward to it. Catherine Bigelow movie. I like The Hurt Locker. Some people didn't like The Hurt Locker, but I did. So, that being said, those were all the new Blu-rays I got. Um, let me get, let me know in the comments if you guys, you know, which ones you've seen, which one you haven't. And let me know if some of the ones I said I haven't seen, if you liked them. And I'll comment back after I watch them, and I'll tell you what I think. Uh, that being said, just a reminder, January 8th, 8 p.m. Eastern. What's the difference? Live. I uh, hope you guys can, uh, can join us. So... Yeah, guys, thanks for thanks for watching the video. If you like, you know, liked it, hit the the thumbs up, uh, share it, subscribe. All right, guys, talk to you later.